Hey guys, I'm Claire the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I wanna to talk about designing a patio using fiddly figs. Now this is the easiest thing in the world. People could not be more impressed when they come to my patio and there's all kinds of giant fiddly figs. They think that it was hard, it was not hard. All I did is I took my plants that weren't doing very well inside and I put them grouped together outside and it creates this beautiful wall of fiddles that's very impressive and could not be easier. So today, I'll give you all of my tips and tricks. So the first thing to understand is that fiddly figs really love sunlight and they like being outdoors, so they're probably gonna do better outdoors than indoors. So moving a plant that's having trouble, maybe it's overwatered, maybe it's having root rot issues, maybe it just doesn't seem happy. Moving it outdoors into the shade outdoors is really the best thing you can do for your plant to help it kind of rejuvenate. Of course, this all depends on where you live. You're gonna wanna make sure to keep your fiddly fig away from freezing temperatures because no plants like to freeze. And then also keep it away from anything above like 95 degrees they can do pretty well in hot weather. You just wanna make sure to water them more often. A great thing about putting your fiddly figs outside is you don't have to worry as much about overwatering them. As long as they have drainage, it's pretty easy to not overwater your outdoor fiddle. Even if you water every day, if it's hot and they're kind of drying out, they're gonna do okay. So one word of caution is fiddly figs do not like being in direct sun. They can eventually acclimate to direct sun, but when you put your fiddles outside, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're in the shade, whether you have like a pergola, or an awning, you're not gonna wanna plop them in hot afternoon direct sun. So you just have to take a look at your patio and figure out where's the most protected space and put them there. So first, when you're creating your design, you're gonna wanna use an odd number of plants. So that works well if you only have one, that's perfectly fine. But you're gonna wanna put the largest or the biggest statement plant in the center and then put smaller plants off to the side. So you could do three fiddles or five fiddles or even you know different variations of plant. Maybe you wanna mix in a rubber tree or a snake plant. Just make sure that you have an odd number of groupings and that you sort of taper down from the tallest plant in the middle and that makes a really really nice aesthetic. In addition to having a hobby of houseplants, I actually really love outdoor design too. So I've taken a few courses in outdoor landscape design and it was funny because at the end of all of my reading and coursework what I learned is basically the point of outdoor design is to mimic what plants would look like in nature. So you want to put them in groupings of similar plants, you want to put them sort of like naturally spaced, you would never want outdoor landscape design to have plants in a grid. And so the same thing for patio design. Put them in a way that looks natural like they might grow in the wild. You know, plants of the same species grow together in the wild and maybe you mix in some other ones that are symbiotic, but you don't wanna have any sort of like unnatural flow to your outdoor design. So just kind of try to make it look like what it would look like in nature. So I love sort of just grouping maybe three of the same type of plant, like three fiddly figs, and then maybe two other plants, maybe a rubber plant that is actually very similar to a fiddly fig when it comes to its care requirements. And then maybe something a little bit more unexpected, like a monstera or even like a hanging plant. I think one secret about patio design is if you can have some plants hanging overhead, it makes it incredibly relaxing. Even if it's just one or two, it makes you feel like you're in nature if you have plants overhead. So maybe you're sitting on an outdoor couch or at a table and there's plants above your eye line, it feels like you're in a jungle, which is really, really cool. So once you've placed your fiddly fig and your other plants outdoors in the spot that you think is gonna work well for them, one tip that I love to do is to add some lights, whether it's solar powered lights or plug-in string lights or even battery operated lights. It is so nice at night to have your fiddles lit up with little lights. And this is something that can actually warm them a bit if you're getting close to freezing temperatures, having them grouped together close to your house and with a string of lights can keep them warm on those kind of almost freezing nights. So after you put your plants outside on your patio, you're just gonna wanna make sure they don't get too hot, too cold, and then you basically follow the same care parameters that you would indoors. So you're gonna wanna fertilize about once a week to make sure they have enough energy to grow and they will grow even faster outside than inside. You're gonna wanna make sure that they have good drainage and that you're watering them properly. Like I mentioned, you could probably overwater a bit more outside, especially if it's hot or if you live in a dry location, but just keep an eye on them. You wanna make sure that they're drying out each day or in between waterings and that they're not dropping leaves or getting brown spots or anything like that. And then the last thing is you probably are gonna wanna clean them more often. So if they're under an overhang, they're not gonna get rainwater cleaning them and they will get pretty dusty outside. And so you may wanna just roll them or push them over to an area that you can hose them off, maybe once a month or so to keep them really clean. We also make a leaf armor product that's really cool so you can actually wipe down your leaves. This will help them to have the dust fall off them so they stay more clean naturally. And it also helps them to retain more of their own moisture so they don't dry out as often. 
So I hope these tips were helpful. Please comment below and send us pictures. Tag us on Instagram of your outdoor patio with your fiddly figs. And subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more tips and tricks for designing with your fiddly figs. I'll see you next time.